Hello, my name is John Canty. I'm editorial co-director of 84,000, a non-profit initiative to translate and make available the 230,000 odd pages of the Tibetan Buddhist canon. And today we'd like to start introducing to you some a series of texts that uh, can be recited for protection and well-being. And the first of these is called the Mahasutra on entering the city of Vaishali. And this is one of several accounts of the Buddha arriving and being present in Vaishali to quell uh, an epidemic. And Vaishali was apparently a beautiful, well-laid-out city. It was the capital of an early republic in northern India at the time of the Buddha. And it's the scene of many of the Buddha's teachings. It's where the great lay bodhisattva Vimalakirti lived. And it's also uh, the, was the home of the beautiful courtesan Amrapali, who became the Buddha's disciple. But at the time of this episode, the Buddha wasn't there. He was further south in Rajgir, in the kingdom of Magadha. Um, but there'd been a terrible famine in Vaishali, followed by an epidemic. And the people were desperate. And the Lichavis who lived there uh, sent an emissary to Magadha to meet the Buddha and to ask him, please, to come and do something about it. So the Buddha sets out and travels northwards, crosses the Ganges, and as he approaches Vaishali, he tells his attendant, Ananda, to go to the city gates and to make a proclamation in his name and in the name of all the Buddhas and all the awakened ones and all the gods who are most positive and to recite a mantra and then some verses. And the sutra actually repeats itself more or less twice. The first time is the Buddha telling Ananda what to say, and the second time is when Ananda actually says it. And when Ananda finishes speaking, the sutra says, the epidemic came to an end. So this incident seems to have had a very powerful uh, impact on Buddhist culture, and this text and texts that are similar to it, related to it, have over the centuries uh, very often been used at times of great difficulty to restore a sense of uh, well-being and peace. And the verses in this text uh, that come at the end are particularly beautiful. They invoke the qualities of the three jewels and they remind us of the importance of the Buddha having come to uh, teach in this world. And I think that that is what is considered the, the real source of the well-being that follows. So some of the other texts that are related to this one we will be introducing later. Um, but for, for now, this is the Mahasutra on entering the city of Vaishali. Please enjoy it. <laughs> 